All right, people, it is time to not only subjugate, but to consolidate as well, using all of our polysyllabic words. 712 AD, year 90 of the Hagira. Banners billow in the wind, and the tips of spears glisten in the sun as hundreds of soldiers ride by. A horde sounds as the front of the column approaches a promontory overlooking a large, glorious city. We have reached Toledo, the center of the Visigoth Kingdom. I can hardly believe my eyes at her beauty. A city worthy of a king. Tariq is determined that we capture Toledo quickly, before the neighboring cities have the chance to react. The Visigoths' heartland will be difficult to subdue. Opposing us, in addition to Toledo, are the cities of Seville, Merida, Talavera, and Guadalajara. Many of these cities date back to a time when the Romans still ruled these lands. Oops, that was me. We are not alone, however. Tariq's former master, Musa ibn Usair, has landed in the south with a large army. If we can capture Toledo and hold it until Musa's soldiers arrive, we will crush the Visigoth with a two-pronged attack. Shink! Alright, captured Toledo by defeating the Visigoth garrison and destroying all of its watchtowers. Uh, the army of Tariq ibn Siad cannot uh, reach the Imperial Age, but we do have a pop of 200, and we can't build docks. Uh, strike quickly at Toledo, the Visigoth garrison is weak. Yeah, that's kind of a joke. Um, and yeah, don't want to return with reinforcements. Uh, mountainous regions are rich with mineral resources, and we can trade. Visit the locals in the countryside, they might have side quests, and the enemies will build wonders. Although they won't go to Imperial Age. Uh, so we are right here in the middle of the map alongside Toledo. Dash apparently has very strong opinions about this. Uh, the Visigoth Garrison, Gar Garrison? The Garrison of Toledo represents only token defense of the city. They have some archers, infantry, and scorpions. And the uh, city of Cordoba and several local settlements are to the east of the map. They are our friends. And, okay, so Seville is to the southeast, and they are Italians. Uh, Merida is to the southwest, and they are really, really, really hard to attack, so we probably won't do that. Uh, Talavera is really annoying, and they're to the west of the map, and they're the Spanish. And Guadalajara is the Cyan Goths, and they're to the north of the map. Across this river lies Toledo, is a Visigothic capital. Toledo? Toledo, Ohio? I mean, I wouldn't really call Toledo, Ohio a city of, for, uh, for a king. Cap, uh, just Midwest jokes. You know, we have a couple of siege rams here. Uh, the city of Toledo itself is our friends, so their towers won't, uh, you know, harass us or anything. But uh, contrary to what they said, the Visigoth garrison here is actually fairly substantial. I'm pretty sure they even have a larger army than us. Despite being uh, only a token force or whatever they called it. Oh, that's not. I'll let them get huge scorpion hits. But yeah, we, you do have to be at least a little bit smart in how you take these fights, otherwise you will actually lose. It's not like the first scenario where it's almost impossible to lose. This one you can definitely lose. Where you also have to fight the green goths. <laughs> yeah, you can see that the Visigoth garrison is not as weak as the pre-game text thing would suggest. Uh, we are in the Castle Age, though, as opposed to the Feudal Age of the last scenario, so uh, we subsequently do have all the Feudal Age upgrades. And unlike the last one, we have a normal pop limit of 200. These units are... well, this guy's trapped in the building. Yep, just PE things. Uh, 
Der hat den letzten Namen. Again, the castle is Toledo's, so we don't really have to worry about them. Just the green uh, units and buildings. Frickin' one of every unit. I don't think, yeah, they don't even have blacksmith upgrades. They just have way more units than we do. A lot of these guys are really low HP. Okay, uh, so then we only have to clear the section of the sea that is to the north of the river. And if the name of Toledo seems familiar, uh, we will revisit the city once again once we get to the El Cid campaign. Where uh, Toledo will pretty much be the entire point of the scenario. Well, well said too. I'm sure many of you are familiar. Whoa, you see the, like, the weird green outline on those units? Don't know why that was a thing. Maybe it's like on the bridge or something. Now the Scorpion could get a lot of kills because a lot of these guys are very low HP. Alright. Yeah, I don't even think Tariq has to survive. Uh, he used to in the last, uh, in the HD version of this. So, now we don't have to worry about that. And we'll just send over the siege rams. We can even garrison these units. Well, most of them. Everyone else seems pretty injured. Huzzah! Back in! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm pretty sure back in the HD version of this, you did not have any villagers to start with. I mean, you had all the resources and whatnot, but you didn't actually have any villagers. So it was kind of annoying to get going, but yeah. Not a problem here. Yeah. Uh, what we are going to do right away is wall like a madman, because otherwise we'll be drowned by a bajillion infinite unit spam stuff. Because, like the last scenario, um, as soon as the enemies, like, as soon as we get a message that says, like, the enemies are aware that we're here, they'll be tributed, you know, 9,999 of every resource or whatever. So, while we shall, alongside getting up our uh, economy. So we have a lot of river crossings and stuff to defend here, but uh, we can manage. We can totally manage. Your ally Musa is gathering his forces at Cordoba. They should arrive to reinforce us in 30 minutes. Sounds good. Do we have any Hussars? That would be too easy. Elite janitor, you will have been conscripted as our scouting janitor. So yeah, you do have to be a little careful in this scenario because the enemies will build wonders. But uh, unlike Attila 6, which we just did recently, the wonders aren't are constructed fairly slowly because the enemies have so few villagers lol this is the only part of the map that's uh, a little exposed or part of your base area let 
Good old terraforming Toledo. Okay, let's get the relic that's right there. Oh, come on. Okay. That was uh, one tile too short. Uh, we'll want to go up to 14 C's. As we will naturally spend the first part of the scenario a booming. Um, oh yeah, the locals. There are some local side quests we can do. Or, like, we'll give you some hints or something. I honestly don't remember exactly. As with the African campaigns, I have not played them anywhere near as much as the AOC campaigns. And, oh, I forgot to mention it in the last scenario. Throughout Attila, I mentioned uh, at least as many as I could think of the differences between these scenarios in DE and their iterations back in AOC slash HD. Uh, as far as I'm aware, Tariq has gone through little to no changes. Like, there are, other than like you now starting with six villagers as opposed to zero, I really don't think there are like any changes in this scenario. Azul, no. Messengers have informed the surrounding parts of our presence. We should prepare to meet their armies in battle. I'm sure if you were, you know, wind back the video a couple seconds before uh, Tariq gave us that message, you would have seen the uh, enemies with a much lower score. Yeah. Wonder why that was. Oh, whoops, forgot to wall this one. So, uh, we have to destroy three of the four towns. Some time ago, Byzantine merchants sold me the secrets of chemistry. I offer them to you for 500 gold. Yeah, chemistry is going to be quite nice because we are restricted to the castle age. So just getting that little bit of extra attack should be quite nice. Can I afford it? Nope. A here caravan carrying a holy relic was attacked by wolves just southeast of here. Whoopsies. Oh no. Was attacked by wolves just southeast of Oh no, this is a bug. I forgot about this. No! Um... Um... Tariq... Two... I remember... I think this solves it? Are you done? Nope. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and reload it. Travelers tell tales of a gold-laden island in a lake to the far west. Azul. Perhaps you can find a ship to take you there. Travelers tell tales of a gold island. You've got to be kidding me. Perhaps you can find a ship to take you there. Travelers tell tales Maybe of a gold island if... in a lake to the far west. I can get can another thing to Travelers tell tales of a gold laden island. I'm not really sure how to fix this. Oh, he's done. Phew. Our great leader has been wounded. Oh, we must carry Anyway, we won't let anything stop us from booming. Oh, both my seed drains survived. Nice. 
I'm going to want to get guard tower and heated shot because remember we can't make our own chips. So we have to rely upon those uh, those towers to deal with the enemy ships. And I'm pretty sure only Talavera sends enemy sh or, uh, angry, angry, evil, mean ships at us. Heated shot. I think that should work. Stone. Oh yeah. Um, uh, should have a monk. Maybe the monk died. Probably died. All right. The uh, the wolves won't attack the monk. So I'm not really sure what the point of having that <laughs> that relic guarded by wolves is. Because yeah, the only units wolves won't attack are uh, is your first scout and siege weapons and monks. Maybe kings too, I don't know. But those are the main ones. There's some more stone somewhere around here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, heated shot towers should do the trick here. Let's prepare these seed trams because they are irreplaceable. Yeah. Yeah, here's some more stone. Oh, up, 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 up. Wait, what? Um, kill the ram, please! Kill the freaking ram! Or mangonel! I admit I was a little unclear there. Yeah, Talavera is definitely, definitely rip that. Uh, the most annoying of the enemies. Guadalajara really isn't too big of a deal, if I recall correctly. Um, neither is Seville. Uh, Seville will be the first one to start a wonder, though. And uh, Merida is also kind of annoying, but uh, we're not going to worry about attacking them because I'll show you after the whole map is revealed. But they're way harder to attack than anyone else. Oh, I probably lost my monk somewhere along the way. Anyway, we'll wait till we have 120 or so bills. I think we have a couple stables. Where's the other one? But yeah, the enemies have infinite resources, so no real point in trying to strike them earlier or anything. It doesn't really matter. Oh, rip those guys. They are going to do as well. More stables. Towers will do the trick. Oh yeah, you want to see this, guys? Let's see this. Look, Musa has his army here already. He's right here. He's ready to go. 
See this fully upgraded post-imp Spanish army? That would be real helpful. Yep, he's just waiting. He's just chilling. Oh, yeah, there's uh, Sevilla. To the relic. Anyway, oh, that gold seems pretty exposed, but we're doing it anyway. Cause we're dumb. Oh, seriously, they're really trying to snipe my villagers. Jerks. Oh yeah, chemistry. Thank you, good sir. With the knowledge of chemistry, your range ed units will be far more. My range ed units. <laughs> yeah, but now we'll have a little bit of an edge over all those other castle age units. Some more gold income, though. I'm gonna put castle right here. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure we have uh, Capgram again, just like in the last scenario. But yeah, a core of camel archers with an accompaniment of knights should form the solid basis for this army. Where's Monk? Monkey, monkey, monk, monk. He's all the way back. Anyway, here's Talavera. They will be. Priority numero uno. Working with the uh, Spanish theme, I suppose. Because they're literally the only one that's constantly attacking us. Oh, these jerks! These guys are jerks! Maybe take these couple. Oh, wait a minute. The. I like how this that one villager is still building this castle. I live life on the edge, man. Workshops. Let's have a couple of relics to bolster our income, and yes, we do have cap rams. Oh yeah, Talavera, of course, just to be as annoying as possible, has more of those fire towers, if you remember from last uh, scenario. Anyway, I assume that we'll be getting uh, Musa's army fairly soon. Considering, I think... It was supposed to be coming in 30 minutes after we, you know, took Toledo. So it probably, I don't know, it probably took us around 10 in-game minutes to take Toledo. 
I can't believe those guys haven't been killed by Guadalajara yet. But yep, yeah, like the last scenario, it's all about killing production buildings. Oh yeah, to the to the far west, there is supposed to be another relic. But things are looking pretty good. Sevilla hasn't even started their wonder yet. Galleys are kind of annoying because we, you know we can't counter them with our own ships. Oh, whoops! Show me the relic. Thank you, Capram Splash Damage. It is definitely one of the nicest improvements of Capram's over Battering Rams, but with that said, I honestly find Capram's pretty underwhelming compared to Siege Rams. I mean, like, you'd think, well, duh, or in Lou, Siege Rams are the better version of Capram's, but I feel like the upgrade from Siege Ram over Capram is larger than the upgrade of Siege Onager over Onager. Like, if a Civ doesn't have Siege Ram, you're like, oh no, that's like a... <laughs> sure, man! Anyway, we're gonna go... Ah, oh, here we go. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the uh, the upgrade of Siege Hunter over Siege Ram feels less than the one over of... Uh, Siege Hunter over Siege Ram, whatever I... You, know, you guys know what I mean. And yes, you'll get a trebuchet every 10 minutes. Let's try and avoid taking a huge mangonel hit. Oh, that wasn't too bad. You can see right here is where Talavera will eventually build their wonder. You know, you could do something to help Cordoba. You got these keeps here, they have Vero slits and everything. It could be pretty helpful. Please destroy some useful buildings. Oh yeah, unlike Tariq, Moose is pretty badass. He's got more HP, got 18 attack. Here, we'll see if uh, our army that we get from Musa is going to be enough to take down Sevilla. Because it is post imp. Post imp Saracens again. Though somehow with access to Halberdiers, which Saracens uh, don't normally have access to. Oh, I love bridges. Oh! 
Uh, whoops. It's freeing up pop space. It was all intentional. I have so much excess food right now that I won't mind if I uh, lose a few farmers. That's our story and we're sticking to it. Are you serious? Attack! There is an unobtainable relic right there. I suppose that is there to prevent you from getting a relic victory. Because obviously they have to have standard victory on to uh, have these enemy wonders mean anything. I will likely have to send an army back over to Seville to finish them off. It sounds like an Age of Mythology sound. Rather not make these trebuchets if possible. Or Musa. So, Seville should be more or less dead. Or not Seville. Um, Talavera. And with th this army, we will move on north to Guadalajara. Not the, the one in Mexico, the one in Spain, obviously. Oh, rip. Help out a little bit, Cordoba, why don't you? Uh, ah. Anyway, uh, we'll send our newly created troops towards uh, uh, Seville. And we will send our barking corgis to Guadalajara. You're dead, Talavera. Stop! Guadalajara is not too hard to take out. Ignore the score. The scores don't really mean anything, in case you couldn't tell. Oh, don't tell me that one battering ram is following. Uh, I think uh, Marita? Marita? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, my pronunciations are just terrible across the board. Thank you. Oh, it's getting repaired. Could use some more gold income. Whoa! I thought that guy was glitching through for a second. Yeah, I don't really remember these guys putting up too much of a fight. Once my cap rams eventually get here. Um, you want to attack, guys? Just, a, just the thought. Just a random thought. Holy shit, that thing's almost... Oh, of course, because they have 900 billion stone. How could I forget? Uh, 
Once again, all about that production. I forget how many castles these guys have. I think it's only this one. And uh, up here is where they build the wonder. You can see they have their villagers ready. But yeah, having chemistry is definitely really helpful here. Just getting that extra one attack. Even though obviously we still can't build gunpowder units because 8th century. Oh, you guys can be more useful. Where are they even repairing from? One day this castle will die. Alright, fairly confident of that. But yeah, as we destroy their production, they just have less and less they can possibly throw at us. Oh crap. Might need some few more units. All these buildings stacked on top of each other. Illegally. Illegal. Can't do that in normal games. Oh, don't tell me I have to send like three more rams. Yep. Definitely. To kill, like, one barracks. Anyway, I should have more than enough to take out uh, what's left of Seville. So once you kill these units, I'm pretty sure they only have that barracks uh, to bruise from. What? No. Four hundred sixty eight HP. I'm trying to think. All of the all the campaigns have at least one achievement, right? Some have more. What was the achievement from this campaign? I don't remember. Yeah. Go back to Mexico. Even though that won't be a thing for, you know, a couple hundred years. And when I say a couple hundred years, I mean, like, uh, a thousand years, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> okay, this is a siege workshop. I think that's it after the archer range is down. Oh yeah, we never got the relic to the west. Whoops. Another trebuchet is ready to aid in our conquests. Any minute now. Unless I have to destroy the market too. I guess I do. Okay. There we go. Heartland of Visigothic Iberia is under our control. Lusa. Now we can truly establish our here. Well, that just rules. 
Heh. Hooray! So, not too bad. A little hectic, but not, not too bad. Anyway, um, there is some more stuff over here. Oh yeah, Guadalajara had like a random barracks over here. I forgot about that. This is Cordoba. Just uh, kind of eye candy. Oh yeah, and to the west there is a transport ship that can take you to a relic that you actually have to mine free. We saw this exact same thing in Tamerlane, I believe. Tamerlane 5, I want to say. Oh yeah, and here is Merida. Yeah, you wonder why we didn't uh, didn't go for Merida? Yeah, this is why. Why on earth would you want to attack this one? You have to cross this bridge into four castles! No wonder is going to be right here, obviously. Like, why would you want to go for this one? <laughs> Unless you, like, want a challenge or something, but screw that. The Visigoth cities did not fall easily. These people truly fight like lions. To breach the walls of Toledo, Tarik ordered the construction of two large armored rams with iron heads. These engines are indeed fearsome to behold. The gates of city after city crumble before their might. A cloud of dust could be seen from miles away as Musa's army approached, laden down with the spoils of war after having breached the cities of Seville and Merida. Both armies celebrated their success with much revenue. Yay. Alrighty. So, that was Tariq 2. Decent kill-death ratio. Of course, infinite resources for them. Grabbing a couple relics is nice. And that will be Tariq 2. Consolidation and Subjugation. Next up will be Divide and Conquer, number three. And we will see you guys next time.